coming up, chat, with the Super Eagles taking on Tunisia. But who will actually go through? We'll take a little look. Minute preview looking forward to Nigeria up against Tunisia, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe to get your back up with all things Afcon related, Bubba Rose related. Woo! Football related, we got all here, boys. Under one, Rusi. There's a couple of zingers in the old last 16 knockout stations, and this is one of them. Of course, we want to find out who will go through to the quarters. We'll take a look at it all of it in a minute. Of course, big big shout out to Bubby RP. They're the Patreons, guys. Thank you for your love. And if you want to support out in another way, check out that link down below, patreon.com forward slash Rovers. But anyway, let's get into it. Five minute preview now, of course. Nigeria up against Tunisia at the Romandi at Jania Stadium, of course, on the 23rd of Jan. Uh, of course, no, the Super Eagles managed by Augustine. Oh, double bubble there, there. Augustine Aguaron, of course, qualified as Group L winners way back on the 27th of March 2021. It's their 19th appearance. Of course, the last time I was in 2019, they've won it three times in the past 1980, 1994, 2013. They were 36th, according to the world of uh, FIFA, uh, at the start of the tournament, and 81 to lift the bling at the end of it. Bang, bang, double bubble. Well, again, of course, Nigeria coming down on top on Group D as not, uh, with nine points, uh, three for three for them. And, of course, an impressive start to the tournament with a one win over Egypt, three one win over Sudan, and two win over Guinea Bissau. Just one goal conceded, five goals, uh, six goals scored, and they look the real pissing deal. Let's take a look, of course, at the, uh, what have we got going on here? The the squad then. Uh, we've got uh, goalkeeper. Who's going to be your goalkeeper? Akiebi between the sticks. You've also got the back there, Jamalou Collins, Amadero as well, Leon Balagon, uh, Trusta Con, of course, will probably start. We've got Joe Adibo, who's been phenomenal, mostly Simon as well. Up top, we got uh, Kelsey Chinaccio and Odin Agarlo. who's in the books. I've not really seen too much of him. But anyway, that's, of course, the squad. What about, of course, the lineup? I've revised it up a little bit. Okay, over there, of course, Sanusi on the left-hand side, Trusty Kong, Omerero, and Nina. Back four, Mosley Simon, Chuck Wazy, and Dindi, Aribo, Inaccio, and Wayoni. Up top, that's of course been the tried and trusted one. And of course, hopefully have a couple of weapons from the bench. Let's take a look at their opposition. It is Tunisia. And they are managed by Mundia Kelly Of course, qualified as Group J winners way back on the 17th of November 2020. This is the 20th appearance uh, since uh, whatever. And of course, that's last time I was in 2019. They've been here, uh, of course, many, many times. Uh, best ever was 2004 when they won it. FIFA ranking 30th in the world, according to their rankings. And 14-1 to lift the bling at the end of it. Bada bing, bada bosh. Of course, Group F, they qualified by the skin of their teeth. One of the best third place teams of course after the likes of Mali and Gambia upset the apple cart in this group of course uh, Tunisia did lose the opening day against Mali they responded with a 4 4 no win over Mauritiana and also lost against Gambia with a red card let's take a look of course the squad then here is your who's who from Tunisian football we got the likes of Ben Mustafa at the back there of course in the goalkeeping ranks I got Maltoluni as well Rekekic from Arsenal Malulu uh, we got Ledodoni uh, from uh, wherever they're from Majbri as well and of course uh, Kasri up top it has been a rough start for them to but they're still here and they still got a chance to get to the deeper stages. Take a look at my revised lineup Ben Saeed between Sikh Malalu, Ifa, Talabi, and Maluti as well, with Shkri, Chalalali, and Ben Salmani across the midfield with Kazri, Jaziri, and Kayoi up top. That's, of course, my lineup. Be sure to get your own picks in down below. Of course, they play each other these two nations seven times 2004. Two wins for Nigeria, one win for Tunisia, and four draws. Of course, the biggest win for Nigeria was a 1 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 5 3 win for Tunisia. In fact, they both scored 15 goals against each other, which are around about 2.14 goals a game ratio. Of course, Nigeria winning five of the last six, of course, in all competitions. Meanwhile, Tunisia just one winning four, 50% form as well. They played each other last time, was back in October 2020, and it was a draw. Of course, Nigeria's last win was back in July 2019 with Tunisia's all the way back uh, in 2004 was a 4-2 win as well. Let's take a look, of course, the vote. The vote is out there. It's very, very tight. You can't separate the two sides. Can I? Well, I'll give you my prediction in just a second. What about the odds then? The odds for these guys are uh, coming at you right here, right now. We've got to Nigeria 65-1 for the victory. 11 to 5 is your draw. 15 to 4 is your way win. Then it's Tunisia. But uh, for me, I'm going to go with Nigeria, the Super Eagles. They've looked the best team for me in, in this tournament. I think they're going to go very, very far, if not the whole distance. I'm going to give you the odds as well for the title coming at you. Nigeria actually third favourites, 9 to 2, with Tunisia 20 to 1. Around about, while well, they're looking at eighth favourite. So, of course, get past this one. They'll improve their chances as well, with currently Senegal, the number one top dogs. That's, of course, the state of play for there. For me, what about you guys? Get your own predictions down below. I look forward to seeing you for those knockouts stages and of course which one of these two nations will get through to the quarterfinals we'll all look at it then until then guys smash your thumbs up smash your subscribe we'll be back of course for the quarterfinals with previews predictions and of course the cat as well but until then dudes i'll see you soon for then until then we're out